close. I'm... Haley, I can't believe it's been five years since we started doing the final five. I know. It. I mean, technically, I've only been doing it for one, but it really does feel like five. I don't know how to take that, but of course, yeah, you're right. You did it for one. We had producer Christy. Uh, she was. Uh, she got into some legal issues. She's back now. I think everything's okay, but... Yeah, shame about all that. It really is. But when you think back to everything that we've done here on the final five over the last five years, it feels like it was only yesterday. Politics, policy, polls. Pence and Pelosi on the playground. Melania. Trump, Kim jong -un. America, the final five. Let's do this. Wow, Jim, that was only five years ago? Mm -hmm. The show has aged you a lot. Well, give me a break here. Think about everything we've been through over the last five years. Elections, uh, insurrection, pandemic, everything that's happened here. You're give me right. a break. You're right. And we can keep going down memory lane. But don't you have somewhere you need to be right now? It True, I've been so busy going down memory lane, I forgot we do have a little anniversary to get to. Yeah, and you've only got about 10 seconds it takes for them to play the theme song for you to get out to the studio. I gotta go. That's the final five, fifth year anniversary special. Let's do this. Okay, but today's your birthday, so. Grab a cupcake, do a little dance, sing a little song, and then get back to work. Look at that! Holy cow! That's fantastic! Wow! What are you guys gonna have? <laughs> this. It's never gonna work, is it? Wow! Happy birthday! be so proud. Jeb Bush, please clap, and we're clapping here in the studio. Thank you, everybody. We have a nice crowd here on hand for the final five anniversary special. It's our birthday, so we will sing a song, grab a cupcake, even if Bennett Romney doesn't know how to blow out any damn candles. It was five years ago that we set out on this show with one goal, to talk about politics and have fun along the way, and I'm so happy to say five years later, none of that has changed. We've not been canceled. We're still here. Thank you. In the last five years, we've covered two presidencies, two impeachment trials, a little uh, insurrection at the Capitol. We've survived the global pandemic. We've moved studios. We've talked to hundreds of guests, some of whom were insightful, hilarious, and some that will never be invited back. We fortunately have a few of them here tonight. And you've all kept watching every night, allowing us to do this. So without further ado, let's take a little trip down memory lane, shall we? I'm going to start with a couple of quotes here. A dumb son of a bitch, full of crap. A stone cold loser. These are not just things my producer calls me every night. These are the exact quotes from former President Trump describing the likes of Mitch McConnell and Dr. Anthony Fauci at a high level RNC donor retreat speech at his own Mar a Lago resort. Gaspacho was one of the most popular searches of the day. People were looking up recipes left and right, looking where you can buy it. And you bet Jose Andres will be churning out more bowls of it than normal, which means Gaspacho wins the day. And once again, Marjorie Taylor Greene, no soup for you. Baby dog, tells Bat Midler. And all those out there, kiss her honey. One of the few times I could honestly say I'm at a loss for words. We have to talk about the hat. Can you name any member of the Supreme Court? Oh, what's her name? <laughs> Sonia Sotomayor. There you go. Perfect. Justice Thomas. Who loves America here? Yeah! And just to prove that I know the difference, I now have a photo of Kirsten Nielsen. Okay, let's see it. Bring up okay. Mike. There she no, is. No, no, that's, that's her. That's that's Kirsten Dunst. Oh. So, I, I swear, I swear I really do know the difference. I'm very ill right now. Now the idea that you have to make choices and not keep your options open yeah. and not find partners, this article doesn't talk all about those. What? But and making choices is keeping your options let's let talk. Well, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's hard to get a word in that I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I'll, 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 I'll I think they were hoping that I was going to do it, but I promise I have a vow on the show. We do not dance unless if it's uh, Tom Steyer dancing to uh, Juvenile. I 
hope you have a better weekend than these Kiwis out there, these poor, poor, sweet Kiwis. And it's an honor to call you my friend. Thank you for being Later on, they went off to Lanai and had cheesecake together. It was just a really beautiful night. Uh, Really, it's been beautiful to see just this blossoming relationship between the two. A lot of PDA and, and the handshakes and, and the hand-holding. I mean, so much of it today. What does that face say? Oh, there it is. They're, oh, now what, they, were going, they were going for the bro shake there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He, he blew the kiss. And there might be somebody tuning in right now seeing this and wondering what's going on. It's the final five. It's every night at 11.30 here on Fox 5. What's the first lady up to this evening? You're here. Well, what we're doing, and we're in the middle of a five-day hide-and-go-seek at the White House. Uh, she consistently beats me. She consistently, it's a big house. It's a big house. Lots of rooms in that house. There once was a guy named Loke who always has too much to say, but his ratings and share beat Kimmel, Fallon, and Colbert, which is why he should get more in his pay. I'll snap to that. I, I like it snaps. Write one about you. Oh, nice. For the show. I'm, I'm touched. Go for it. Um, there once was a producer named Haley who wrote the final five on the daily. It's a fun show, we hope, except for Jim's bad jokes. <laughs> one day they'll get better. Probably not, but maybe. Fine. Oh, we're, you're getting applause in the studio. Johnson throwing BYOB garden parties, and, and he's admitted some misjudgments but says nobody told him it was against the rules. Here's the problem. Nobody told me is not an excuse for anybody, especially when you're the damn prime minister. Most people aren't falling for it and calls for his resignation are only growing louder than the one person who is ticked off we called him Bojo. Live with it. To paraphrase an American statesman, that's the final five, you stupid sons of bitches. Let's do this. Uh, Dave, can I switch topics totally? Real, real, I know, I'm throwing a curveball sure. at you, but, but every time you're on the show, I get tweets. People think that we're brothers. People think that we are, we, that there is some sort of uh, uh, connection, some familiar connection. To be clear, there's not, and you and I have actually never even met face to face. That, that this is true, uh, <laughs> although we do have the connection of Buffalo to Pittsburgh to, <laughs> to very uh, solid, uh, you know, northeast uh, cities. And well, I gotta say, you, you might have a little bit more Super Bowl success than my guys, but we're gonna get there one day. <laughs> We haven't reached the peak, Jim. Next next time, I want to wrap about the show, damn it. Alex Stein. Okay, I'm Jim. Let me win. You are my big best friend up in D.C. Can't you see? It's prime time in Jim Low Key. Let's go. Oh, I love you, Low Key. Uh, yes, prime time, Alex Stein. Uh, as we take a trip down memory lane, we started to wonder, though, you know, we, we know what you think about it. You come back night after night, and that's the best compliment you can give me. But what do my coworkers at Fox 5 think about the chaos that we put on each and every night? This show is on at 1130, which means there aren't many other people here when it's on. Some of them have filled in for me. They've gotten to experience it for themselves. Others have only wished they could. Exactly. All right. Well, I'll see you on the final. Actually, no. No, I will see you on the final five at 1130. <laughs> yeah, I'll be at home. But Marina and Rob are next right after this breakthrough. I gotta get used to being. Mm -hmm. next to you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Now, uh, contrary to her own words, Angie Goff has never anchored the final five, but she is one of our biggest fans. In fact, we think she's streaming the show from the makeup room right now. Uh, but we asked her tonight, can you get the pulse of the people? Can you ask people at Fox 5 how they feel about our show? After five years, in a typical Angie fashion, it was a multiple day project. Hi, I'm Angie Goff, the special Fox 5. Wait, what's it called? What's the show called? Three, two. Hi, I'm Angie Goff. Fact, f Fox, what? Final five. Final five. Okay. So five years, yep. the final five. Um, huge milestone for your friend, Jim. Your thoughts? Friend is a strong word. Uh, thank you for that intro, by the way. Yep. Uh, final five, the best show on TV to fall asleep to. Hands down, you wake up with a little puddle of drool, Jim's still blabbering about something, wouldn't miss it. You don't really know Jim at all, but say something nice. Uh, Jim? He's a nice guy. Right, any well wishes for, for Jim and his show going into a, another year, year six? Um, best of luck. You have a bomb producer. We are celebrating five years of Jim Loke and the final five. Your thoughts? What comes to mind? Uh, I only watched the show once, and that was because I had to produce it. Uh, yeah. Okay. It was a little... Thank rough. you, Ai. Great, great. Okay. 
Christy Barber, so good to see you, the first producer of the final five. Uh, how does it feel to know that what you started, what you created, your fetus of a, of a show, has now grown into this, I guess, about five, a toddler? Yeah, so what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I, I feel kind of sorry for what I've inflicted on the world. You know, I think he just proves if it's late enough at night, anybody can have a TV show. Loretto, you've actually filled in and produced for the show. It's not an easy task, right? No, but, you know, ever since Christy went to jail, uh, it's been a lot of fun to fill in because the Final Five gives you the unique opportunity to see Jim Loke go off script and start swearing on the air. Is it true that you called it the NyQuil show? <laughs> that is true. <gasps> Jack, Jack, why are you walking away? Subway? You're choosing food over talking about Jim Loke and the Final Five turning five? He chose processed meats and fake cheese over you, Jim. Five years of the final five. What's up? You're, it's a show here on Fox 5. Who hosts that? A guy named Jim, James Loke. What's her name? James Loke. <laughs> we love you, James. Five years? How did they allow that to still happen? Why are you, let me hold the microphone. Oh my God. <laughs> how did they allow that to happen? It's a fantastic show, but I'm unaware of how that was allowed. Do people really watch that? Because he says a lot of crazy things. The best show that keeps up to date with politics. It's funny. It's intelligent. They know what they're doing. They've got a kick-ass team. You can say ass at this time of night. Anyways, congratulations, Jim. We're yes, so happy we love you. you. Six, baby. Ten. Twenty. You're so good. Twenty. How old is he going to be at 20 anniversary? Yeah, That's going to be like 90. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be 57 at the 20th anniversary, by the way. Uh, we got a lot more in store tonight for me, joined by old guests that are right here in the studio with us right now to bring you back the real or fake news quiz. Don't miss any of it. The final five turns five, comes right back after this.